there's a unique group of leaders who are able to help other people catch their vision and be able to then take it forward long after they step out of the picture. And Dave's one of those very unique leaders. I think that economic development by its nature is not a, a selfish pursuit. It is a pursuit of, of teamwork and, and collaboration. And it's, it's far easier if everybody is, is following a leader like Dave and trying to work toward the same goals and the, the same endings. I grew up in Plymouth, Ohio, born in the Shelby Hospital, and uh, my grandfather on my mom's side was a dairy farmer, and uh, actually the first three or four years of my life lived on what had been his farm, the farmhouse, and then we, mom and dad built a house in, in the suburbs of Plymouth on the edge of town, and uh, just a ranch, and so we grew up in just middle America. I had gone to Ball State and studied radio and TV. What eventually brought me back was a high school classmate called and said, let's build a radio station in Plymouth. And I said, uh, I don't think that's going to work. Mostly it's the technical side of conflicting signals with other radio stations. So I said, what if I could get it moved so we would have Shelby? So we did that. We said, we're Shelby Willard. So we had responsibility to cover both communities. So SWR, Shelby Willard Radio, is what that, that, that stood for. I uh, decided to get out in 89 and uh, sold out my interest. There are other people involved. And uh, had been real heavily involved with the Shelby Chamber of Commerce. And we took that Chamber of Commerce from a really small organization, all volunteer staff, to what people typically think of. We've got a paid director. Uh, and you'd really taken on causes and making the community better. Street lighting that was done back in the uh, early 90s and the new reservoir that was created and zoning, those are all products of the Chamber of Commerce. And the reason it took place is a theme that we later carried over to Crawford County. We brought people together and they talked about what their fears were, what they liked and what they didn't like, and then we talked with them about a plan to try to move the community closer to what they wanted. The Governor Boinovich had uh, created 12 uh, regions in the state for the purpose of economic development. Our region was centered in Mansfield and covered nine counties. It was hired by Governor Boinovich and then uh, remained during the eight years of the, the Bob Taft administration. As a governor, you want someone uh, that will be candid, will be honest, will be straightforward, and knows what he's talking about, uh, and that's Dave. He was the eyes and ears of the governor's office. He would tell us what's going on, what are the needs, what's happening with the schools, with uh, higher education, uh, with the uh, workforce, uh, and with economic development uh, and the companies and employers of the region. Of all the 12 regional reps we had, Dave knew more about workforce uh, and the importance of, of training your young men and women. My last two years, we made him the supervisor of all the regional reps, so he was the deputy director of the Ohio Department of Development. So that's the kind of confidence that we had in Dave that, uh, and he had among his peers across Ohio. And then the opportunity arose uh, in Crawford County, it had just begun to form an economic development organization countywide and there had been nothing like that in the past. It was about the time that there was a change of leadership in the state. He became available and it was about the time we needed a unifying leader and Dave is certainly that. It was a, a new entity um, trying to collaborate and get people on board including businesses, government entities. Dave gets a lot of credit for pulling all of those entities together and, and educating and developing a culture of economic development in Crawford County. We can't do economic development unless we start fixing some of our problems. You know, we can do them both at the same time, but if we just try to do economic development, we're not going to be successful. Typically people make us successful, other people. So having the right spirit, the right genius, the right skills, the right attitudes, right availability at the right cost uh, of that human factor uh, is an awful lot of it. Dave was always good at thinking outside the box and thinking about well, different ways to 
approach and uh, different challenges. And when he started discussing a strategic plan for the county, I thought about strategic plans and we had them in our business and things, but actually to think and take a, a concept and, and really think about how you could do that on a county-wide, I thought was pretty novel. I was invited to a meeting in the CEO's office and there were a few local community folks there, somebody from the chamber and Dave, and there was a question being posed about what can we do to try to address some long-standing systemic issues in the community. From that became a, a blue sky discussion about some things that could be done to really move the needle on some really key issues that were plaguing Crawford County. That was the genesis of the Crawford 2020 vision. It was born from the strength of his vision and his passion. He made it happen. He cajoled and borrowed and shamed and asked and did everything he could to try to make it happen. Dave was the one that really had the vision, really knew how to pull the right people down here to get the focus groups going, to help write the plan. He had those connections that I don't think anybody else in this community would have had. The enormous task that, that Dave had to to bring different cities together within the same county. Uh, a lot of animosity between the cities and a lot of ownership that had to be dispelled. You have to force sometimes those that think they are competitors or enemies together and then they realize we both put on our pants one leg at a time and we have a lot in common. So rather than deciding how we consolidate, let's maybe talk about more about how we can work together. There's strength in numbers. I mean, really, it's just that simple. If you have uh, people that are collaborating and working together and on the, the same sheet of music, you can accomplish some pretty, you know, impressive things. We started to ask the public what they wanted. And that's hard because it's a lot of work and you gotta be willing to hear the complaints. You gotta be willing to hear those that maybe aren't as happy. And part of that whole process, too, was educating people on actually what was going on in Crawford County. And then we would start talking to them about what do you see going on in your neighborhoods? What do you see, go, what, do you, what are the issues you're dealing with? And started to gather all that data. It's about uh, empowering people and communities to uh, meeting those challenges, improving life circumstances, improving quality of life. It's morphed, it's changed, it's grown over time, but in that path, we, we have achieved a, a, just a tremendous number of goals. The Success Center was, was a goal all along to raise our education attainments, our educational level. Um, across the street, we have an office. We have our, our very own office and place where we can meet. Getting the, uh the law enforcement people working with the court systems, working, you know, and having those conversations and, and even having the various city law enforcement people talking to each other and talking to the county law enforcement people. So that's an outcome. I watched over the years as people were standoffish and kind of skeptical and then turned interested and then caught the vision. And then people were then saying, I want to be part of it. So now we're in a second generation of leadership for this effort, and it's, it's something that I think we only are beginning to scratch the surface and the potential for the community. Since we've been at this so long, you think about, you know, what would Dave say about this? What would Dave think about this? You have that spirit that he's, he's still around and, and the way he would go about things. One of the things I'm doing now is working with Robin Hildebrand in this Crawford Works and Pat Horde in this Crawford Works organization, which wears me out. I mean, I'm not a young guy anymore, but it's such good, such good work that, you know, it makes, makes you feel good that you're helping people who have struggled with poverty, helping them have the tools to be able to become self-reliant and successful, be able to support their families through employment. He cares deeply. He cares deeply about people. Uh, he cares about humanity and he walks the talk. It's just fun to know that there are citizens like Dave who are striving uh, every day uh, to make life better uh, in their part of the state. When I think of what Dave was able to create from just ideas and just kind of a pie in the sky concept to what's become a real movement, 
in Crawford County and has something that's affected real long-term change for this community, um, it still seems to be, to be quite amazing.